back with another Geiger counter review. I've been on a bit of a buying frenzy recently and I bought quite a few. I've got a couple of new ones, a couple of old ones. And uh, yeah, this is this week's. Um, this is the BSG001. It's a Chinese meter. Um, I only found out it existed as somebody was selling one on eBay for about 137 pounds, if I remember rightly and i had a quick dig online you can buy it direct from china for i think it was 60 60 um yeah about 60 pounds i bought mine from a german retailer for 63 euros that was posted uh i got it in like three days i couldn't believe it um literally three days it arrived and i think i paid like five euros posted something like that there so yeah very very quick it's a Bluetooth device and it is, it's really a remote warning, you know, remote, remote warn, uh, monitoring device that you place somewhere and then you connect to it via Bluetooth and it'll give you, it'll give you readings. Um, as you can see in a minute, I'm not sure what this is detecting. Um, I have a funny feeling it's because it's so close to the phone, it is picking up some interference. But I've, I had this on for about a week. Um, I had it in my living room and I was taking readings maybe every couple of hours, and it was working fine, absolutely fine. It gives me, was giving me normal background readings, but the closer I bring my phone to this, it just seems to go a bit haywire, and it gives me just vastly, um, you know, high readings. So I'll open it up. It uses a semiconductor um, sensor inside, which I, I don't have a meter, I've never had a meter before that has that. Runs off two AAA batteries, and you've got a little, notch there you can you can hang it up on a wall somewhere it is not waterproof so it does say not to put it outside but it does have waterproof um little covers here you can run it off usb if you want to so if you don't want to put batteries in it you can run it off usb a little on off switch that's it there's nothing else the little led there just to let you know that it's on and it's also i think the led changes color when it's connected as well i think it flashes red when it's connected to the device uh Amazingly, there is an Android and an iOS app, so you can have it on your iPhone and you can have it on your Android phone as well. Now, I use my iPhone to record these videos, so we're going to use my Android phone today, which luckily I have for just, literally I bought this just for doing, um, for using with the radio code and the radio scan and what have you. So yeah, so the unit is on at the moment, so I will put it here, move this out of the road. That's all you get really, you get a little sticker here, you can stick it up on a wall if you want to. Now the sticker's odd because the sticker actually goes where the battery compartment is. So if you stick that to a wall, you're gonna to have to rip it off the wall to change the batteries. So yeah, don't really like that feature. So put it on a screw if you're gonna use it. Very, very simple instruction manual. It's uh, in Chinese and English, but really it just says, put the batteries in, download the app and that's it. Okay, so the unit's on and as it powers on, there's a little flashing green. You can see the little flashing red lights now. That's just to tell you it doesn't have, have a USB connection. So um, for some reason, the Android app does not have an icon. The iOS app does. But if I press that, and there's the device. Pop, pops up very, very quickly. It is very, very quick. The connection is very quick. And that's flashing there just to let you know it's connecting. So there we go. So if I press on, do I want to start measuring? Yes, I do. And there we go, we have started measuring. So every minute it takes a reading and the reading comes up on the screen. And then every 10 minutes it takes the average of all of those readings and it saves them to the log and the log is in here. So I have this running now on a 10 day log. So it will log then for 10 days and then it will give you a final reading then at the end of those 10 days. So. I've used it, as I said, probably for about a week. Um, I've noticed that when the device is just sitting in my living room and I have my phone and say I'm sitting in the kitchen or sitting in my bedroom, the connection is really, really good. Even at that distance, um, it's, you know, it's a really, really strong connection. Um, in fact, it does say in the box here, I think it's about 10 or, yeah, it's 20 meters, 20 meters. So the Bluetooth must be really strong on this to be able to connect that distance. Um, so I just, every now and again, just take a quick look and I can see what the readings are. Now, you've just seen what I've just seen here. 4.35 microsieverts. So if I bring in another Geiger counter, you can see that no, the reading is 0.16 microsieverts. So 
I worked this out earlier on. If the phone is too close, it actually causes interference and gives you very, very high readings. Um, I found a forum where people were talking about this and they said that yes, that is actually an issue. The closer you are to the unit, you will pick up interference with obviously the Bluetooth connection and it will give you wildly, wildly inaccurate readings. Um, but as I have this connected, just normally sitting in my kitchen from my living room, which is about, I think it's about 12 meters, um, the connection was perfect and I was getting absolutely perfect readings. Had it on for about a week and the log I got was absolutely perfect little peaks right the way through. Um, and I think I took a screenshot. If I have a screenshot, I will um, I'll put it up on the screen now and let you see it. But yeah, it worked absolutely perfectly. So if you're looking for a unit which uh, connects, you know, you have a remote connection, you want it sitting somewhere in your living room and uh, you have a device then that you can log into it and see what the readings are over a certain period of time. Yeah, this is a great little device for that. Much cheaper than buying a, you know, a, a GMC 500 plus, which is what I have been using for about the past two years. I've had it in my shed and it takes readings. I think every 20 minutes it uploads the average reading up to the GMC world map server. And all my readings have been stored in there for the past two years. You can go into that map, you can scroll back two years, all my readings are in there. Um, that has never missed a beat for me. After I fixed the sort of the, the faulty Geiger Muller tube in that, it hasn't gone wrong. It's been working really, really well. And it's in my shed now, it's powered on, and it will be powered on for as long as it lasts for. Uh, this unit, only use it for a week now. Yes, it works when you're far away from it. Um, it has these little problems when you're close to it. Um, do not be buying this for over 100 pounds. It is not worth it. Um, if you can get it for 60 and this is all you're interested in, yes, it will work. It will be 100 times better if it had an alarm feature. If this did notifications that it allowed this, if it detected a certain alarm threshold and your phone gave you a notification, that's the game changer if it did that. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Um, now saying that as well, the GMC 500 Plus does not do that. Um, it will not remotely warn you. It will not warn you on the world map. It will warn you on the device, but uh, it doesn't have any notifications. There's no iOS app. Having an iOS app is great. I think if GMC were able to come out with a, an iOS app or an Android app, yeah, that would be incredible. But yes, this is what you have to work with now. Um, if you're on the lookout for a device like this, by all means, listen, go for it. Um, would I buy it again? No, probably not. Um, I don't think I'll be using this device. Uh, I think it'll go back in its box. I may sell it. I don't know. I may return it. I don't know. Uh, I'd have to have a think about it. But those are my opinions about it. I uh, I think for £60, it's probably, or €60, Euros, should I say, it's probably worth it. You know, £50, £52, something like that there. It's probably worth it. But if you're looking for something which um, is going to warn you, you know, before something bad, catastrophic happens, th that's not this unit. No, you can rule that out straight away. Um, but if you want something that is logging, constantly logging, and that you're able to view it on your phone, yeah, this, this totally fits the bill. But listen, folks, as always, thank you very, very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.